Oh, that is Jersey Shore pimp lip, my man. <laughs> <laughs> Johnny, man, it's good to be on the winning side. That was a hell of a fight, Pedro Stud. I heard a lot of MFers barking that I'm old, I'm slow. I definitely should prove them all wrong. I still got some fight in this tank, baby, and uh, we're going to make a run at 35. He was number five, and uh, that might put me right in the top five. Three weight classes. Uh, I'm showing I could compete with the best at 38 years old. I don't want to hear nothing from anybody. very happy with my performance here tonight it was just a hell of a fight you yes. know and I really thought I like I won at least three of the five rounds so um, yeah yeah it's just a moment right now that I'm reflecting and stuff but at the end of the day I'm very grateful for the opportunity to to fight and do what I love you know I believe like first and second round was very close Third, four, and fifty, he started feeling my pressure. Um, he was throwing more like combos, but just you know, to to try to survive. Survive, you know. Um, I mean, to res I don't mean to to disrespect him. He's you know a great fighter, but I really thought that I would I, I deserve this victory tonight. The only thing that I that I that I won is just the judges to be fair, you know, not to get this, this score uh, out of the reputation of some fighter or the former champ and stuff like that. Um, I just saw right now on my phone, you know, uh, 17 of 20 score, media score gave that fight to me. And in the UFC, uh, the, the, the score punches I had, first, third, fourth, and fifth. So I, I don't know what should I do in the fight to get the victory, but I, it is what it is, you know, so.
lastly, uh, a couple of things more for me. Uh, recently, Tony Ferguson has been on social media sort of hinting that he's got a fight. Have you guys got a fight lined up for Tony? We do. Can I make a guess who it is? Huh? Can I guess who it is? Sure. Dustin Poirier? Probably. I'm going to go with, obviously, being a former middleweight myself, Israel Adesanya taking on Costa, Barachina. They're talking a little bit of shit. Izzy is uh, an incredible fighter. His technique is incredible. In fact, he came up with a very interesting uh, take a couple of days ago. He said, yeah, this fight's got it all. you got the skinny guy with the technique taking on the big roided out monster or something to that effect. He said, I'm going to be like Bruce Lee out there. It's going to be an example of martial arts, the smaller, skinnier guy taking out the big, strong one. I think that's an incredible fight because Costa is the big guy. He is stronger, but my God, he's a animal in there he knows how to fight he's a big dude he's got incredible punching power good takedown defense and has a good gas tank as well for a guy that has so much muscle and, and of course is it i mean he's on a roll right now if you look at his resume you know i mean he's beating Yoel romero robert whittaker jackaray Souza, no not jackaray uh derrick brunson paulo costa not paulo costa tiago uh, Brad Tavares, he's got a very, very impressive resume. And if he can go through Costa as well, if he beats Costa, I don't see anybody beating him anytime soon. Before we get to Lewis, because Lewis is playing his cards close to his chest, like he's got some big, big off the wall. Well, oh, you're not going to believe my take, guys. You're not going to believe the fight I'm looking forward to the most. So because it's so special and we're all, and he's sitting there with that smug look on his face. John Jones leaving the division. Is that good or bad for light heavyweight? I, I'm not sure. If I'm being honest. I I think that it creates a lot of parody. It creates a lot of inter interesting conversations, uh, a lot of cool matchups, a lot of... I think it creates a lot of cool cool conversations and some fun matchups and a little bit more parody and, and maybe some, some more... I don't know. It's just some more unknowns and I and I think that that's that's what's good for a division I, I think when you have John Jones in a division it's kind of like well John's probably going to win this fight and then they're going to move on and the next guy's going to come up and John's going to win that fight and, and now we're not really sure and there's, there's, a, there's a lot of there's a lot of mixing and matching and, and like is Tiago going to beat Glover and if he does and I beat Rackage then does Tiago fight for the title or do we have to fight each other and it just creates a lot of fun conversations but at the end of the day, it, it sucks that John's leaving the division and there's a lot of us who have lost to John that are looking forward to that opportunity to fight him again and we're not going to get that opportunity.